Hi, this is Dr. Scott Gray from Back in Motion Sport and Spine Physical Therapy and Pelican Sounds Physical Therapist located right here in the Fitness and Wellness Center. So in this quick video, I want to describe to you about hip bursitis or hip uh, tendinopathy is what the correct term is. So um, you all probably heard of the term hip bursitis, but what exactly does that mean? And so um, if you, I'm going to take a few steps back here. And if you look here on the outside part of my hip, there's some butt muscles called your glute medius muscle. And then there's some muscles here on the back that attach right on this bony prominence. So if you just take your hand and poke around the side there, you'll see a feel of bony prominence. That's called your greater trochanter. And adjacent to that is a bunch of tendons from these muscles. And then underneath these tendons is a bursa. Sometimes when we've done too much activity and exercise, uh, we can irritate these tendons. We can also irritate these tendons if we've had trauma to those areas. So maybe I'm playing pickleball and I fell on my hip, I can irritate that. Or if this hip's just even weak, we can over time um, irritate the tendons and the bursa. So um, some common symptoms besides just pain and tenderness is just weakness of the hip. But then sometimes you'll even see patients um, with a walking kind of like side to side like this. And that's just because that hip is really weak and it doesn't have the adequate strength that it needs to, to function. So um, there you have it. Those are really the common things that we see from a clinical standpoint uh, with hip bursitis or uh, hip tendinopathy, they call it. And we can actually treat that here right at the wellness center. So in the next video, I'm going to describe uh, a quick exercise that you can do at your house or at the wellness center. All right, so in this quick video, we're going to describe how you can treat the hip bursitis um, or tendinopathy that we commonly see here at the clinic. And so before I actually show the exercise, I do want to put out a disclaimer that um, with this hip bursitis or tendinopathy condition, the problem with this type of condition is that if you don't exercise it, it doesn't get better. And if you do too much, it doesn't get better. So really getting some expert advice on how much to do is typically the best approach. Um, but this is just something that we commonly see. So this is one exercise that we do recommend. So here I've got a resistance band at the Fitness and Wellness Center. And from here, what I'm gonna do is just um, put my feet on it and I'm gonna crisscross it. And I'm gonna stand up nice and tall. And from here, what we're gonna do is just sidestep back and forth to the side. And what that's doing is making these hip muscles have to fire and function. And so what I would recommend that you do is you do two sets until fatigue every other day to help get this, these hip muscles strong and then they can fire. From a physical therapy standpoint, another thing that we would commonly do is kind of fix the cause of the hip bursitis. So sometimes it's weakness of the hip, other times it's you know, maybe something at the knee, the foot or hip, um, or even just tightness at the hip. So um, this is really just one of the main many things that we see at the clinic um, is weakness of the hip. So if you do Pilates, I think that your hip bursitis will feel better.